Hi, this is Vi from Scrappy Mania, and today I have a product review. It's called the Big Shot Switch, and it's the Plus, so it's the bigger format Big Shot. And the reason why I bought this machine is because as I get older, I'm having issues with cranking my old Big Shot. And um, especially when I, my sandwich is a little too thick, it, get, it gets hard for me to crank, so I bought this one. The other reason why I bought this one is because I did have the Gemini at one time. And I actually broke the Gemini with one of my 3D embossing folders. I, the sandwich was too thick. I put it in on a wrong angle because I used a smaller plates. And it got stuck in the machine. And I could never get it out. So I was very hesitant to buying another electronic machine because of the issue of it getting stuck. And the other big issue is I have a lot of big, big styes. And I could not use my big styes with my um, Gemini. So that was one of the biggest reasons why I decided once that broke, I just discarded it. I threw it away. And I was not going to get an electronic machine until I found the Big Shot Switch. And the reason why I bought this one, again, is because I'm having issues with the crank. You know, if it's too thick, I have an issue with cranking that machine. And the other reason is because this takes every single die I have. I, it takes my big dies, my thick dies, my thin lids, my 3D embossing folders. If I can run it through my Big Shot, I can run it through this machine. Now, I haven't tested my gold foil glitter. I mean, my gold foil foil machine because I don't want to break that. So, I, I, I don't really... I'm, I'm still going to use my Big Shot for my... Um, glimmer machine but I'm not going to use this for that but I am going to use this for everything else so let me tell you what what's in the box I already did the unboxing because of course there's a lot of videos on unboxing this machine so I didn't really want to add to that what you do get you get a 3d embossing folder you also get some dies as you see here these are my dies that came with this machine and again, I got it at Hobby Lobby, and it was $199.99. It's a $299 machine. If you go on the Sysic website, it is $299, so it's $100 off. Um, the, this color is unique to Hobby Lobby, so if you buy the machine at um, any other retail, other retail stores or on Sysic, it will be the white one or the black one if it's a Tim Holtz. So, um, and I do like this color. It's more like a, a coral color. The other thing that you do get with this machine is these plates. So you get an A plate and it has the sandwiches that you need in order to cut. It comes with two of your cutting pads. And then it comes with this platform. The thing that it advertises is that you can also use your old platforms. Any Sizzic platform that you used in the past, like at my Big Shot. Um, it will use those platform at well. So um, I haven't been using this platform. I've been using my old Sysic, I mean my old Sysic Big Shot platform, the smaller ones. And that's the one I'm going to test. I'm also going to test the Magic Mat that I just got to see how well it cuts. Now the other thing I want to show you is the, this is the platform that comes with this Sysic machine. I do have the manual Big Shot plus which is a little bigger it's the white machine and these are the plates actually let me put this aside because this is the magic mat but these are the plates for my big shot plus machine you get and the it did a little bigger so as you can compare the old plus machine the manual machine with the electronic machine it's a little bigger however they're the same size so you can use your big shot plus plates for this machine if you want to do that and um, it's it's the big one it's this one so this is the machine I'm referring to it's the huge Sizzix machine so it's very heavy it's hard for me to carry it around so I have it stationed in one area of my room and and I leave it there because it's very heavy so let's go ahead and get started I'm not going to use these plates like I said we can use the Sizzic plates 
the plates that I'm going to use for this machine are is going to be the magnetic plates and a Sizzik plate and I'm actually going to be using the magic mat so that is my sandwich I have other sandwiches here that I can use depending on the die so we're going to test those out but this is the the sandwich I'm going to use and I'm going to show you how how to use this with this machine the first thing you're going to turn it on and then you're going to open it on uh, when you open it it has a compartment where you can put your pokey tool I have scissors and I have some embossing um, nips or tips that goes to my pokey tool and that fits very nicely here and you got to push it down in order to clamp it in place it has a reverse button so you can fed, feed things in and you can feed them out I'll recommend that you never um, in, insert your mat your Sizzik mat the this way in so you always want to feed it the long way in with this machine because it has sensors all along the top it could sense any size of plates and it will feed it in my Gemini the way I broke my Gemini is that I use something similar to this this sandwich a sandwich like this and I was feeding it um, lengthwise through my machine and when I did that it grabbed onto my 3d embossing folder and I could not pull it in or I couldn't pull it out it didn't reverse it it was a mess so I recommend that you always feed this machine learn from my mistakes feed it the long this way in so that way if it does get stuck you have more of a surface where maybe you can unstick it versus this way if it gets stuck this way it's a lot harder to pull so that's my recommendation Okay, so let's go ahead and start first. Let's see how well this cuts an intricate die. Now I have this nice intricate die. It's very intricate. One thing that we're going to do is I'm going to put this die along this way so all the rollers will cut along all these cut points. Um, actually, we're going to do it this way. We're going to have it turned so that way there's less cut points along the rollers and that will distribute a more deep pressure to this area here if I put it the long way it means that the pressure along all these bar are going to get distributed through all these cut points so there's more cut points meaning there's and then that's going to cause less pressure pressures in area it has to distribute this whole pressure on more cut points versus if I put it at an angle this way there is going to be more pressure on less cut points and it's going to cut it out better so I'm going to go ahead I already got everything set so I'm going to put my magnetic plates I'm going to go ahead and put my paper and then I'm going to use my magic mat and place that in there so you always want to start with the smallest um, sandwich or the less sandwich that way it won't get stuck and then you can always adjust depending how well it cuts so I'm going to reverse it I actually didn't reverse it on time okay so let's look at this and as you can see it really cuts it cut it very well and this one does not have cutting plates at the end is one of those dies that it just makes the edge so see how nice it cut it cut very very nice so now we're going to try one of the simple shapes so this is one of the simple shapes i'm going to put that on here and place some paper here and also i am going to go ahead and let's see let's go ahead and use this butterfly I'm going to put my paper on here. I'm going to rotate my mat. Okay. And now I'm going to feed it through the machine. It 
do like a cut perfect and it cut my butterfly really go what very well and it did put a nice indent on my self-healing mat so it may be that I need to use less pressure so the next thing I'm going to try is going to use this cuddle bug a plate and I'm going to use my embossing folder the 3d embossing folder with the cuddle bug and you can also use the if you have the smaller Sizzik platform it will also work but I want to use my cuddle bug and I'm going to take a piece of paper and um, you want to mist it so I'm going to go ahead and mist this really quick I'm going to close this and then I'm going to use I'm going to use a plate for the top of a uh, nice Sizzik plate. So this is a Sizzik plate, which I'm going to go ahead and put that on top. And let's see how well that that works. It's still nice and flat and it worked very well so as you can see you can really see the different dimensions the low low areas and the middle areas and the high points so it worked very well for that okay the next thing i want to do is i want to test out this these are not sure this was from cuddlebug and it's similar to the Sizzix, um, these are the Sizzix Thin Dyes. It's very similar to it. Okay, so I'm going to try to cut this out. Let's see how we can do this. And I may need to refer back to my my guide. So this is framelits, thinlets, intricate dyes. Let me look at this one. Texture impression. These are thinlets. But there's no mention of this. So I'm going to try. Let's see if we can try this one out. And... I may need to use a thin thin plate. I'm not sure about this sandwich. Like I say, you always want to start with not a lot of shims. So I'm going to put that there, put this here, and then I'm going to get a piece of paper. Put that on here. And then I am going to use my beat up platform. Let's see how it works. And as you can see, it did not cut through. So let's try putting. this platform on. I'm going to take away this shim and I'm going to place this shim. And now let's see if that's too much. But I don't know how much you saw but it did cut out the die. So now we're going to try to emboss this die. So you just place, I'm going to mist it a little bit. So let me do that real quick off camera. Okay. And then you're going to place the die right on the outline of the embossing um, plate. And then you close it. 
So now for this, let's see, it says it just needs this, two cutting plates, so I'm going to go ahead and use two cutting plates. And we're going to run it through. at this and they're a perfect impression for that die so you can cut these out now let's go ahead and cut this is one of their Sizzix mounting plates um, actually I'm going to because I was I'm pretty happy that it did cut so I'm going to go bring back my uh, cuddle bug I don't have the smaller, I think I need to invest in the smaller platform for the Sizzix because I don't have the smaller one, but I have is my Anna, my Anna Griffin one or my um, Cuddlebug one. But we'll see how it works. So I'm going to go ahead and use the A plate from the Cuddlebug. Use my Sizzix plates. See how this comes out and it did work nicely so it did cut it out so you're basically going to use your plate your bottom plate your Sizzix cut two cutting dies and that cuts out that very nicely okay the next thing I want to try is I have these let's go ahead and look at the embossing folders my my machine, the, the, the one that I bought before the Gemini, got destroyed with embossing. It was a 3D embossing folder. So what I want to do is I want to try out to see if I'm going to have the same issue with these. And hopefully I don't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put, so I don't have a big cardstock, but we're just going to use this cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and put that here. Now, by the way, if you're wondering about these, these are these are one of the plates I bought a long time on, on HSN. And it came with these plates and dies. So you can you can cut out the center. So let me find one of those centers. These are my squares, so this is not the center I need to look for. Okay, so these are my square, my um, what fits in the middle. So you had a B and an A, and then these had a B and an A. So you take your A with the arrow up, and you place it in here. So you open this up, and you just pop it in there. And it should pop in there so it did you need a flat surface take your B and you do the same thing and it pops in there then you take your cardstock I'm gonna go ahead and mist it real quick put that there and this should be like a 3d embossing folder so you're only going to use this you're going to use the top plate and then you're going to run it through the machine. Don't like the sound of that. It looks like too much pressure. Let's see. Oh yeah, it worked pretty nicely as you can see. There is my impression. So it does work like what this is kind of like a 3D embossing folder. If you look at the thickness of this and the thickness of your 3D embossing folder, they're about the same. They're about the same thickness. So it worked well. So it did not break it. Now let's go ahead and see how about this cuddle bug. So 
So I have a Cuddlebug embossing folder. It is not 3D. So if we bring back our chart for just impress, this is a regular embossing folder, which I would say it will be like a A4 texture impress impression. And um, so it's probably it's just going to be the platform and two cutting mats. So I'm going to go ahead and bring back my platform one two and then this one and see how it, it's a little it but it's it bounces so i'm going to go ahead and place it on top so hopefully we can get it straightened out and then we're going to run this through I did not put any paper so let's go ahead and get some paper on here put some paper on here now let's run it through again very nice if, uh, you can't see it done this way but you can go ahead and see the texture on the reverse side it worked really well so it worked well with that one now we ha I have this 3R memory and so we're going to try this one I'm gonna missed it Okay, let's go ahead and try this embossing folder and the reason I'm trying so many embossing folders is because that's what broke my other machine so I want to make sure I don't break this one okay It worked pretty nice, as you can see that, nice texture. Okay, and um, we did not test the Anna Griffin, but the Anna Griffin is similar. Did I test the Anna Griffin? Uh, yes, I did. I tested the Anna Griffin, never mind. It did test that one. And this one, of course, is going, it's the regular Sizzix um, one. So I'm just going to put this. So if you have these thinner ones, the Sizzic ones, um, let me go ahead and mist it real quick. And let's go ahead and feed it through. And it looks pretty good that's a nice impression so the biggest thing is the reason why I bought this one is because I can do my big die so I'm gonna go ahead and get one of those um, steel wool dies and let's cut something out of that one this is a die that I just bought it's a biggest big die because I have some nice three-dimensional flowers and um, I want to use this for my cards and have flowers come out of it so Let's go ahead and see how this works. So, for this sandwich, Big Styes, you're basically just going to use the two cutting mats. You don't need this plate. And it did come with instructions. Um, you know, the, this has an instruction booklet, which I don't know where I put it, so I don't know where it is. But um, I know that it uses just the two cutting plates just like the Sizzix so if you're used to the Sizzix your Sizzix die cutting machine the Big Shot Pro the same sandwich you use on that machine you use on this one one thing that I should have done which um, 
you know, if I if I'm a, if I have question if it can be fed in this machine or not, is that I can make the sandwich with my manual machine, make sure that it's not going to break it, that it's going to go through, and if it does go through, then I know it's going to work on this, and then I could record that, um, and make sure that that's the sandwich I use from there on. But I'm going to go ahead, and I always try to have a non-cutting plate down. Then I'm going to put this on top and see it's it's bowing a little so that's good so hopefully it'll, it's starting to get straightened out and actually you know what I'm going to use my magic mat that's the reason why I bought it so let's use my magic mat and I'm going to go ahead and put the magic the the bow side down of my magic mat and let's feed it through It worked like a charm, and there it is. It cut it perfect. You can, I'm not sure how, oh yeah, this goes like this on top, and then these go on the sides. There's, this is the image. So you probably need to cut two of these, so that way they fit on the side there. Okay. Now I don't like it that it leaves those big grooves on my magic mat. We'll see how this thing holds up after a while. But um, it did cut it pretty nicely. So my review, let's see, I, I kind of went through all the different dies that I have in plates and embossing folder. And what I can tell you is I do like it. It's worth the price. Especially the intricate dies. These intricate dies. Let me use. Let me um, go ahead and do the one that it came with. So this one. So let me go ahead and do this one real quick and see how well it cuts it. Because um, those are the ones. The in intricate die are is the the ones that you can tell the quality of, mach of your machine. If you can cut these type of dies, they're not easy to cut. There, there are a bear. Now, if you want a good cut, if you have an issue with cutting, you want to put the the cutting blade side up. So that's why I'm doing. I'm putting it that way there. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my paper. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my mat. I'm going to feed it through. I can reverse it. And let's see. And it and I reversed it too quickly. It didn't cut, it, you know, it didn't go all the way through, but look, it cut really nicely and clean. And then I can fix my mat here. One of the things they say with this magic mat is that if it's warped, see how it's warped a little bit? You're supposed to be able to heat it up. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this up. And let's see if it lives up to its claim. Because it says if it warps, you just simply heat it up. And it's supposed to unwarp it. Let me bring you down a little bit. I'm going to heat it up more. And then let's go ahead and put this plate on. And let it cool down. And let's see if we can get it all straightened out. And it actually got it nice and straight. So it was bowing a little bit in the middle. And now it's not really bowing anymore. So it's still warm. So I will leave this until and let it cool on its own. And then take it, take it off. So my final review for this machine. I love it. 
I do love my Sysic machine. I think it was a good, good investment. The price, it, you couldn't beat it because the Gemini and all these other die cutting machines, they usually start at 200 um, plus. This one for $199.99 at Hobby Lobby, it is, it is precious. It is the best deal I can, I can say that you're ever going to see this machine. The color is nice, even though I would have preferred the white one, but I don't want to spend $70, $80 more just because of the color. So um, it is a nice call, and it's, it's, it closed pretty nicely, nice and shut. It doesn't take a lot of floor space or, 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 or space on your desk. The other, the, the Big Shot Plus machine, the manual one with the crank, it actually takes more of my space than this machine that one I had it right behind it and it took a big portion of my table so if you can see here I used to have the big shot plus right here and it took a big substantial size with this one it, it doesn't take that much space on my counter and it closes it has a nice closure so it's it's pretty nice I do like it so if you're looking for a new machine, I recommend you buy this machine. If you have any questions, just let me know. And I hope you like this video. And thank you for watching. Bye now.